channel. If you don't know me, my name is Zoe here on YouTube. I go by Zoe Williams or Zoe Forever 100. And today's video is going to be a most asked questions doula edition. So it's basically going to focus on like the pre-meds. Like if you're coming in as like a bio or a chem pre-med student, this is a video you should watch. Um, Kaya is with me today because I came to see her in Shreveport. I don't know which is one of first, this video or my Shreveport vlog. But make sure you watch my Shreveport vlog. You wanna say Hey guys, seen you before. Won't be the, hopefully won't be the last, you know, but you know, never know with these things. Uh, it's great seeing y'all, great seeing y'all. The questions are on my phone. And the first question is, is Xavier a good school for those who don't want a career in science? You can go first, Monique. Um, I'd say yes, but the school is expensive. I feel like it's expensive even if you want to be a science major, but it's too expensive for if you're doing some simple like, I don't know what would be simple, but some something simple. Like if you, I mean, you, you like art that much, go ahead. But I feel like if you're an art major, go somewhere that's not going to cost you a whole house. Yeah, I feel like, I've heard Xavier is good in like all of their departments, like as a whole, they're just known for like science, their sciences and stuff. But I would say like, if you want to pursue a career that's not in science, I'd still go to Xavier. It just is more expensive, like Kaya said. So the next thing we, um, is like changing your major as a pre-med. So we both thought about changing our majors to public health, but that's still like on the pre-med track. But um, I know people who have changed to psychology is still a pre major. I know people that's changed their major, like but it's still pre made. Like Trey, the one we're doing here, here you know, he's art pre made or something like that. Yeah, like he changed it, but he's still pre made. I mean, if you don't want to do, like, another science as your minor, you could change it to, like, Kaya's is Spanish or something like that. The next thing is, is, it's pre-farm and easier route. I think. I say it is, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's, it's a straight you, path. Yeah. Like, you don't have to take the piece that, is it the piece that? Oh, you don't have to take that like you have to apply but you're already a student in Xavier so it's just easier to transition you just have to do an interview and then like apply mm -hmm. I just don't want to do pharmacy because I feel like it's boring to just be a pharmacist but the it's like the pharmaceutical sciences where you actually see what's going into the pill and stuff I think that's cool but I just don't see myself being in a lab um the next thing is pre-med meetings um you uh, i went to a few freshman yes, years um, went to a few freshman years <laughs> um because you know they tell you i i do think i should be more active in it but it's hard it was easier freshman year too though because i was already on campus so like I didn't have to leave. Pre-med meetings freshman year, like, they were once a week. Were they once a week? I think, I think they, they were, were every Monday. And I used to go, and as freshmen, when, if you missed some, they was going to email or send a letter to your house saying you missed pre-med meetings. Because my mama had got a letter. But the pre-med meetings were scheduled the same times as my... Was it a lab or something? Mm -mm, math. Pre-calc. As our pre-calc exams, because the pre-med meetings are at 5.30, our exams are at 5.30. So I didn't go to as many. But they still send, like, emails and stuff. You look at your emails, because that's how you apply to the LSU thing. Mm -hmm. So they still send, like, emails and stuff, which I look at, um, because of, like, online and COVID and stuff. So I don't know how they're going to do it in the fall. The next question is, like, if you're an incoming student, so, like, you're either a transfer or you're, like, coming straight out of high school or something, um, will your credits transfer to Xavier? It depends on the courses. Xavier doesn't really take science classes, but like this summer I took- Unless the syllabus is like the exact yeah. same. 
So they uh, they accepted my micro lab, which I'm taking at Heinz, and they accepted my orgo chemistry, which I'm taking at Jackson State. Um, some people wonder if they AP credits transfer. I have no idea. I think some of them do. I sure. never really just saw the reasoning to take AP classes because sometimes they don't always transfer. They just heighten your GPA, but you still made like a one on the test instead of like a four. So I just never saw the. I took it. Yeah. Did I pass the test? like I so under that I put like go ahead and get your prereqs out the way so like your English math and all that because I've gotten all my prereqs out the way what was my last prereq I don't know like I took English and sociology before I came and then freshman year I took music appreciation mm -hmm. I took my history credit like I got all of that out the way so now I'm just like in my science classes and then as a bio pre-med we only had to take two maths I and I already got some out the way. AADS. Yeah, like AADS and but I really like holidays. I need to see if my history, because my history and AADS class was the same thing. So you like, can I only like count history. one towards the I don't other. like that. Like you can only take, because my world seal class counts as AADS, so it went towards my history credit. And then my AADS class went towards my AADS class. I don't class. like that. I gotta do it again. But I would say try and get those all out the way by sophomore year because now I don't have any more pre -reads. I'm just in my science classes. I still have. You wait, you, you, you haven't taken all the X courses, have you? No, no, I don't consider those pre reads because okay. you can't take two of them until you're a junior. Okay, so the next thing is who are the best chem and bio teachers at Xavier? One, as an incoming freshman, you do not make your own schedule. They make your schedule first semester, but you make it second semester. So... Privy, privy for Kim. G Kim take privy. That's my girl. Um, who else? For bio, um, twelve thirty. Hey, I didn't take hey. I had the freeze. She was really good. Yeah, they said the freeze is good too. So hey and the freeze for bio twelve thirty. Um, twelve forty. Twelve forty. Who did I take? The Secret, cause my mom's right there. Didn't pay attention. Who did I take for 1240? I had Billy Rand. Did you have that H? Oh, I had um Zane. But he used to send us like practice tests before the test. Some of the tests will be, some of those questions will be on the test. So I was doing good. But that was when COVID happened. So I. Uh, I think the best they said for that one though was Huckabuck. Yeah, Huckabuck. He's the head of the department. Like, biology, you can't teach it. Like, you it's just really notes. Nice. So it's like. It's really, yeah, it's really not even the best of the best because you're just going to try to understand it. But yeah. chemistry, like, but there are certain bio to, teachers that teach it better, like try to help you comprehend it better. It was all complicated to me. I don't really like bio. I love bio. She like chemistry better. So the next question is, do the resource centers really help the math things that she can in bio? The Bio Resource Center helps. I went okay, there yeah, a lot yeah, during yeah, 1230, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they had tutoring sessions throughout the week. So now, I did, I went my first semester for Kim, but I didn't under, I didn't try to understand Kim first semester, and I feel like they were really just giving me the answers. I've heard that, so, I've never went to Kim's department for help, but I heard that like, they just show, like they just tell you how to work it. They're not really explaining it to you, they just work you. Yeah, they just gave me the so, answers. Yeah. Like she was writing it down on a piece of paper you know, doing it, but yeah. she never showed me how to do it. And the English department, I've never went and got help from the English Resource Center, but my friend was a English Resource Center tutor. So like, she used to go over my papers and stuff. So I'm pretty sure they do a good job. I, I just never that. went. I probably should have. And the Math Resource Center, I have went to. You can stay in there for hours. They'll help you, teach you, try to make sure that you understand the class stuff. Cause I went in there for stats and for pre -cal. I went. So when we went home during COVID, I was failing steps. So they email you, like people email you saying like you're failing this class and you don't have the requiring grade, you know, for you to go to the next course. So the head of the math department emailed me and was like, I see you need some help. So for like every day for like the last three weeks of um, that semester, I had a Zoom call with somebody in the math resource center and he helped for sure he was helping me but okay so the next thing is 
what slash okay what is math 990 why is math 990 on my schedule and like why are there are no sciences on my schedule so from me i was put into math 990 when i first got to xavier because they didn't have my right act score in the math department so i had to go get that fixed but during orientation week you can take a test to test at a math 990 and go straight to pre-calc um if you have no sciences on your schedule and you have math 990 you can't take a science until you pass math 990. So you have to have like i think above like a 19 in your math score to um, be able yeah. to um be in like pre calc or stats or whatever because i had exactly a 20 in my math section on act and if you don't they'll give you a test i think it's like two hours on the computer and if you test out of it then you can just go into pre calc or whatever they put you in how often should i meet my advisor Mine sucks, so never. Um, when we first got there as freshmen in G Kim, they give you this yellow sheet where you have to go see your advisor once a week. I never did it. And so I did that until COVID happened, so I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> but I email I don't talk to my advisor as much as I probably should, but he always emails me back if I need to get transferred into another class, if I need him to look at my schedule, if I need him to tell him like what else I need help with, like he's always gonna email me back about that. And my advisor is Billaran, Hector Billaran, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce my name. Mm. Okay, the next thing is can you change advisors? You can. Well, the next thing is like pre-med grades. Um, you can only take a class, this, I think this is like an overall Xavier rule. You can only take a class three times before they, they're going to like sit down and talk to you. And I think like, say you're a pre-med major, like a bio pre-med major. If you take a course three times and you don't pass it, they're going to talk to you about changing your major. But and then I they're, think, I think they're going to hinder you from taking science classes. I think what classes. they do is if it's, if you're a bio major and you're in 1230 mm -hmm. and you can't pass it after the second time they're gonna tell you to change your major before that but i think because of corona they give you up to three chances now like c's d's and l's in classes one i always hear c's get degrees i'm not gonna catch you my whole science classes freshman year c c c c c c c c c c literally it's so sad but no the thing is during corona i had a b before corona came in bio and i had an a in chemistry and then corona hit we came home and no, I. It was like bye bye. I had a C in twelve forty. Mm -hmm. Corona hit. I was at seventy. I was at a seventy before the the final exam, and I was like, oh no, I refuse to retake this class. Um, and then L C classes. If you make an F or a D, and it's in a, a class required for your major, you have to retake or it and get not a C. Not even your major required for the curriculum. Yeah, you gotta retake. Because if I take like a mass comm class and get a D, I passed it. But if you yeah. took a history class, you got a D in it, and it's yeah. required for yeah, history, you have to get a C. Um, but about that, like affecting your GPA, I never oh, got it, an it. F in a class. I've, I got I've only D classes. Yeah, and it was only two. <laughs> yeah, but um, two, two. now we're working on getting our GPAs back up because really hard. Yeah, yeah. Lies, really, really hard. But by the end of the the summer we're gonna be at three point twos per one three ones so sad. i think you're gonna be higher than three ones. also like scholarships if you don't meet the gpa requirement you lose your scholarship like they take it but if you like if the scholarship is a 3.1 and you have a 3.0 they let you keep 75 percent of it um I've never heard of scholarships being over. Like, I know my freshman year, people got 9000 or they got 14000 and that's all I heard of. Or you get a full. Ride. Yeah, but that's all. Um, how can I increase my GPA? Taking easy A classes. Like, I don't know what's considered like easy A classes. Like, for me, I can take a sociology, psychology, stuff like that, I know I'm gonna get an A in cause I can just get an A and stuff like that. Or if you're like really good, like Ryan is really good at math. So if she wanted to increase her GPA, she could just take a bunch of math classes that she don't really need, but. I took yeah. sign language, didn't need it, but it was easy. Yeah. So just stuff like that. There are some like, probably like depending on, you know, even a class that you need, like maybe music appreciation. Music appreciation, or art, art appreciation. appreciation. They have, um. A, a film studies class if you like to watch movies yeah <laughs> take it 
Um, I should have did it. The next thing is like internships. Kai and I both have internships. Uh, Xavier doesn't keep track of your hours with internships, but they keep track that you're doing an internship. So I'm interning at a OB office. Kai an internship real confusing to me. Like I get what she do, but I don't, I don't, it confuses me. I did a summer program in high school and I'm interning with the office of the program that I did. There you go. Um, MCAT prep, we just, well, I just got my MCAT books. Kaya, I guess, when did you get yours? Um, the beginning of this month. Well, we have to take the MCAT the summer before senior year starts. So basically in a year, we're gonna be taking it. Well, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it then. And then if I don't get what I need, I'm gonna take it when I graduate, you know. Okay, so the last thing is like extracurricular activities and just stuff to like get yourself known more around campus and what you can do to like make more friends and stuff. I feel like I talk about this in every video. Uh, Kai and I are peer deans for this upcoming year. So, you know, y'all gonna see us when y'all move in. You can be like, hey, Kaya. Hey. I saw you in Zoe's YouTube video. Or you can be like, I can't tell you how many people this past year came up to me like yeah i know you no like not i'm not like not even like that like, i just do these videos to help y'all out because when i came to xavier i was looking up so many xavier videos all i could find really? were why i why i'm leaving xavier and xavier room tours that's all i saw i didn't look up anything but so. i can definitely agree with the why i left because <laughs> <laughs> oh, everywhere, every, everywhere so i just want y'all to see like the positive side of xavier like it's really not that bad if you put the work in you're good you just gotta learn how to prioritize. But um, yeah, so y'all gonna see us during orientation week. I'm also a site leader, so service Saturdays. Kaya gonna be there too. There's a lot of like clubs groups and, stuff. and stuff. Like just being from Chicago, you can be in the Chicago club. So I think they're making they made or they're making a Memphis club. Yeah. We talked about the Mississippi club, but they don't think it's enough Mississippians, but I feel like there's a lot of us, so you're an introvert still trying to go to homecoming spring fest all the activities they have live music fridays try to go to all of it because if you don't go you're gonna be like college ain't fun because people be thinking that you're not fun it's because you don't get out and you don't do things like if you go do stuff it's a fun school go to games basketball games yeah, baseball games. games yeah the baseball games are fun and the yeah, baseball games definitely i haven't been to a softball more. game try to be involved try to have fun it might be hard because you focused on school yeah. but you gotta learn how to balance but if you're speaking into existence that you're gonna hate xavier or when you get there you're like you're i hate it hate here it. you're gonna hate it you're going to. if you go like oh this party is lame it's gonna be lame because you're saying it's lame depending on class and what time it's hard Not the buddy. <laughs> Why is it here? Because we had to do something. I look like a little kid. It's okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because we're almost at 400 subscribers. Oh, wow. Big we numbers. like. So, yeah, y'all subscribe. Go watch my other Xavier videos so you can get the gist of what it's like to be a Xavier. Um, yeah. Hope to see y'all soon.